Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, I found out I was right. It is a marked location, but it only comes after the initial event where it actually is shown to be falling from the sky. It's marked around here, more or less. Uh, it's east, southeast of Oberlin Station, which luckily I already had unlocked, as we've seen before. So... Right now, I'm going to be popping on the quick cult because at this point, um, running out of ammo for the advanced quickly again. So, this one I have more ammo for, and I will eventually be shelving the Tommy's gun, unfortunately. It was going to outrun its usefulness eventually, and with this in hand, it will pretty much be obsolete because I'll have a better weapon using that ammunition. Anyway. Now we head east-southeast, so generally this direction. And, uh, yep, as you see there, there's the uh, crash, as I expected it to be, relatively nearby. I didn't expect as much smoke as there is nearby, but hey, that's that should be expected, considering it was a legitimate crash. And there you go. It is an actual, genuine alien crash ship. All right, now, technically they don't look relatively the same as the ones you see in Fallout 3. However, they are loosely the same enough, and they're also referenced as the same sort of thing. And uh, to be perfectly fair, it might may, it might may, bleh, 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 bleh. the uh, <laughs> fucking English, man. Uh, so many fucking odds and ends. Anyway, drink my coffee to help my brain. It might be because of an artistic revision or a graphical upgrade to their look that makes them look different from the uh, ones you see in Fallout 3. It depends. And the ones you saw in Fallout 3 were a DLC anyway, so... Or at least, I think the only one you saw was in a DLC. So... There's this, anyway, and if I remember correctly, there should be a cave nearby. All I need to do is follow the green blood. Yep, they do have green blood, so that is really the only thing that helps uh, separate them from really humans, and is very, there's another clue, rather, into how it's basically the same sort of species more or less as the ones you see in Vault 3 Mothership Zeta. Uh, Vault 3. Fallout 3 Mothership, Mothership Zeta. I can't fucking talk anymore. I'm just gonna go into the cave and shut the fuck up. <laughs> kind of. Otherwise this would be a boring episode. That load screen was faster than I thought. I was trying to drink my coffee. Okay. And there is the alien. He is clearly injured and... He's going to get up and try to attack anyway. Okay, yep. There we go. I did not really want to, but, you know, you saw he was not going to give up easily. And, as you see there, try to pick up the body. I took off the head, I think. Yep, I took off the head. And quite a bit. God damn. Woo! I did not expect to do that. Oh! Oh, you could see the skull bits, too. Ugh. Ugh. Grody. Alright, um... Perfect. You get the alien blaster pistol from them, and then you'll eventually be able to modify it. More or less. Um... Yeah, there we go. Alien... Did I already had 41? What? 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 I don't remember... Okay, apparently it had 41 in it, and then had extra put on. There we go. Yep, there you go. I can't reload it because it's at full, basically. The ham radio. Uh, this was a guy, apparently, who was stuck in this cave at some point. Um, died, and then the alien took refuge here after, well, you know, his crash. And, uh, yeah. There we go. We have now seen what I have never seen before. Uh, 
like ever really <laughs> so I'm kind of happy I was able to experience this at the same time uh the alien blaster pistol and the alien itself I'm yeah <laughs> I am really grossed out by that but uh I should have expected that okay there we are <laughs> I wish the head was still intact though because then I could show you a lot of the similarities that uh facially that they have with the uh, mothership uh, Zadens from Fallout 3 but <laughs> that didn't end up happening <laughs> all right um once I get home with this weapon I'll be able to show off what uh really is going on what I can adjust with this gun also I'll be eventually downloading a mod to change the look of it but considering I hadn't ever found it in the first place i didn't think to download it ahead of time uh <laughs> because this wasn't supposed to happen as far as i was aware this was not supposed to happen anyway uh head back to the national guard training post and do the thing that i was intending on doing the first time before that happened ah okay <laughs> i'm gonna drink my coffee now Grab that before I end up uh, bringing back the cool, <laughs> but uh, ultimately very, what's the word I'm looking for, resource intensive. And I say that mainly because the gun only has this many rounds. You can't make any more. I'm pretty sure you can do an adjustment to the gun to let it run fusion cells, but the... Uh, the uh, blaster itself only has a few rounds and you saw what the uh, color of the rounds looked like they're pretty much like institute weapons more or less but just not as uh, not as terrestrial for lack of a better phrase all right now I can open this get at that t51 armor there we are nice perfect there we are that's what I like to see. It already has a fusion core in it as well, but I'm going to pull that out and put in my own somewhat lightly used one. <laughs> All right. And good. Going to pop right into that. And I'm clipping through the camera, but that's fine. It's to be expected considering how close I am to the door. And there we go. Okay. Does it... I'm just curious. Does it... Nope, the uh, backpack does not clip through the power armor. That is nice. It's a nice detail. Oh my god. Oh my god. T-51 looks so good. Except for the weird green on the uh, torso armor. It's a little annoying. But I can always repaint it to get rid of that. Anyway, let us get moving. Back to Sanctuary, probably. <laughs> probably being the key phrase uh yeah there we go all oh, that's good and taken care of i'll eventually be moving on to hangman's alley and i'll eventually be moving back on to the main mission as well as kate's thing but for the time being i've ran across some need to get stuff so i kind of want to bring it back <laughs> i hope you guys can forgive me because this shit is awesome. <sighs> These are... Wow. <laughs> I did not realize the vicious mutts look like that. Jeebus. Alright. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to go back to first person. There we go. Let's get this armor placed in the back room. Along with the T-45. Because I'm not running power armor exclusively just yet. There we go. Good stuff. All right, let's pop out that fusion core so I have it on my person in case I find another suit. And then... I don't need to do anything involving that. At least not yet. Um, hmm. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I remember now. I was going to show off what you can change for the alien blaster. It's not a lot, honestly. It's not a lot you can do with the alien blaster. Um, the long barrel, which makes it look like that. 
which is, I'm pretty sure what it looked like, more or less, in Fallout 3. I'm pretty sure. I can't guarantee, I know for a fact. This one is, I don't remember seeing that. So this one might be an artistic revision version. Uh, the magazine, uh, it reduces the damage slightly, but that's to be expected when you're changing ammo type and the capacity gets lowered a little bit just a little bit but it ups the value because that way you can actually run more ammo through it in the long run uh, and you need a lot of science to do a majority of these fucking adjustments let me tell you for sights um, you do a short scope whoa whoa I do not remember there being a short scope or any sort of scope on yeah. the uh, alien blaster. Yeesh. And a night vision scope to boot. Okay. Well, now we know. I picked these up also on the way uh, to it. Once I was looking through uh, a couple yes. wikis to find out if it was a marked location or not. Because I was sure, but I wasn't too sure. I uh, picked this up off of one of the raiders nearby, and that was pretty much the mod I wanted to do with Knuckles. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm just going to pick this up and drop the other shit. Yes. And I kind of want to pull this off, actually. Uh, that way I can put it onto something else, like uh, the Nocturnal Knuckles, if I want to. If I find better Knuckles, I definitely will put it on them, because Nocturnal I Knuckles are not really good. Real trouble. Real trouble with what? I'd like to trade some items. Of course, I just. Real trouble with what? You you said that like you knew what we were talking about. What? Okay. I assume it's this person who knows what's going on, and will be asking me of stuff, asking we stuff really of me. Your help. Ah. Uh, okay. They didn't send me, but I am a minute man. Yeah. Is there some way I can help? We're having a lot of trouble with a group of raiders. Okay, another one of these. Another one. You can persuade them well, I mean, considering this is my home, I might as well do the stuff for this place. Okay. Uh, Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three, but who knows how many are back at their base. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Oh, really? Thanks. Yeah, Kate I can't always know just what we likes were gonna it. Do about them. I'll just find a couple things to unlock, and uh, then she'll like me again. More or less. Anyway, I'm going to talk to Carla. Huh? Yeah, I'm Carla. going to talk to you and you sell some stuff. Whoa. Okay. The Brahmin sounded like... <laughs> the Brahmin sounded like uh, dog meat growling, so I was looking around going, what the fuck's going on? Sure. Uh, I got a little bit of everything. Yeah, hopefully. Ah, yeah, there's the ammo that I needed. I needed to give that to Kate. Um, need to keep those because that's the only one for my sniper rifle I can use. I definitely need more of these. I do not have a lot to sell her, though. Um, but did pick up some of the frag mines around that, uh, raider base after I blew up another one on myself. <laughs> I did pick up at least, like, four of them, I think, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it was about four. Anyway, I'm gonna sell these off because I have no use for them. Um... Nocturnal Knuckles I have no use for, really. Um, Tommy's Gun. I don't want to sell it. I mean, it is valuable, but I don't want to sell it. I kind of want to shelve it. Uh, I want to make a set of shelves <laughs> and uh, just put it on there for the time being. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, not going to sell the pistol, but I'm not going to be carrying it around on me. Uh, at least not too much. So let's look what else I can sell to uh, Carla. Hmm. Got a faded trench coat, which I got from Nick, so I'm not going to be selling that. Because Nicky boy is my bud. Uh, skull bandana. Nothing really I can sell her. At least not there. I can make some of these, so I might as well sell her this stuff. Um, what can I do? Um, just, just sell her dress. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but it, it's really the only thing I have. Let's just sell her some cams. Why not? Uh, and I can always make more. Um, that sounds really bad. 
Uh, FBI, this is not what it looks like, or at least what it sounds like. Uh, it looks better than it actually sounds, if anything. Uh, don't want to get rid of the Radix, but at the same time, I don't need that many. <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep it for now. Um, what else do I got? Not a lot. Okay. Um, oh, I can sell that. That's good stuff. Because I've already learned what I need to learn out of it. Um, nothing else, really. My junk. I kind of need all of that. The iron sights really don't need those. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I'll try on head and left arm. I'll want to keep those. That way I don't have to remake them. Um, eh, fuck it. I'll sell some of these. Um, let's do like 927 so that way it's an even thousand. Because I'm really not using the minigun at all. What? I thought it. <laughs> okay, I must have went one uh, below and didn't realize it before I hit the A button. There we go. Now that's all good. All right. Um, get some 45 rounds too, and some 44 rounds. Um, let's just buy all the stuff that I could ever really want from her. Uh, blood packs are useful. Um, Brahmin meat can use that. Um, cafeteria tray is plastic. Don't need that. I could use that though. Um, a cracked death claw egg. I need to. Did I pick that up and sell it to her at some point? Because I don't remember doing that at all. Huh. Weird. Well, um, okay then. There we go. Didn't really need the duct tape as much, honestly. Don't know why. I will pick that up and uh, give back the uh, duct tape. Uh, wow, that was not what I was expecting at all. Um, <laughs> I think I've just picked up anything and everything I really want out of her thus far. Um, yep, pretty much everything else is really expensive or not as necessary uh, as much as I kind of want most of it. So, there we go. I'll confirm trade. There we go. Eh, kind of also useful shit. So just drop that. There we go. All right. And now let's try and make a shelving unit eventually. I kind of want to put the alien blaster in here, though. That way I know where it is. Um, let me look. Is there anything else I want to shelve? Really? No, it's just Tommy's gun. Okay, um, in my own file, I put a shelving unit here, so I might as well do it here, actually. Uh, mainly because it looks good. Um, hmm. Furniture, shelves, there we go. Um, magazine rack's kind of not useful. Yeah, this one's not useful either, at least for what I'm wanting it for. Um, this shelf is not that much different than the other one. Except this one's more both ways, and this one's only against the wall, which is kind of what I want, so. Oh, back up a little bit. There we go. Um, doing it a little closer to this wall here. Uh, shit. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, that looks good. Alright, I think that's as close as I can get that to where it is. Yeah, that's as close as it's going to get, really. All right, cool beans. Uh, might be able to rotate it a bit though. There we go. That helps a little bit more than that at all. All right, I'm going to get out of here. There we go, and drop the gun for now. There we go. Mainly because oh shit, that's not what I wanted it to do. Oh boy, let's try that again. Take two. Okay, perfect. Oh, jeez, come on. It's not even letting me pick it up right now. What the fuck? Okay, that was weird. It got stuck in, like, the leaf pile or something. 
That was really odd. Okay. Uh, and... Hey, there we go. Tommy's gun is now shelved at a shelving unit. It'll actually make sense. Hey, man, a baby rattle. Don't remember this being here. Might as well put it with uh, Sean's crib. There we go. I'm going to move it a little bit closer inward. There we go. My baby boy eventually going to be back in his crib. Uh, okay. Let's get moving now. Got all our, whoops, most of our weapons sorted out. We are now running the Colt 1911 pretty much exclusively using up the 45 ammunition that we have saved up for the Tommy's gun. And the Tommy's gun is now shelved. I don't think he was talking about bullet holes. You'd be surprised. Well, okay. Well, I guess uh, everyone wants to know, including Kate, where we're off to next. But first, I'm going to be dealing with the jet I just sold off. Um, can make a couple of these at the very least. There we go. And Psycho Jet. I might as well make a couple of these. Uh, let's make two of these to make the uh, Jet and Psycho even in number. That's what I was trying to say. But brain is collapsing. Um, orange Mitten Tats. That in particular would be good. So I might as well make a couple of these. There we go. Good stuff. Alright, I'm gonna see if any of my stuff grew back. It did. Alright, I'm gonna be growing well. Yeah. I am I'm, I'm surprised at how well it's growing. I'm just gonna gather all this up and end the episode for right now while I am doing general upkeep around sanctuary because i might as well anyway thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video share and comment so we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the game for playing together and i will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and finding the alien blaster and an alien on top of you know showing off all that good stuff for you 